What's up, everybody? Last time, I actually remember when the last vlog was. It was right before peak week before the AMBF Kings Cup, and this is now after AMBF Kings Cup. So let's just catch everybody up. So where I was talking the last, um, I was saying that after uh, doing the OCB show, um, and that week right before peak week, we were bringing food up to start to reverse. So we did that. Um, and we also did the same thing on a Saturday of like a refeed to get a feel for um, what we were going to do with carbs. Uh, and to be honest, like those last couple days right before peak week and through peak week is the first time in prep that I just start to feel uh, like drained, worn out um, and stuff like that. Now, which is weird because my food is still relatively high. I shouldn't feel drained, but I did it. But again, it's, you know, just a constant train really hard in a, in a deficit, regardless, even though that my deficit is way higher than normal. Um, my, my shoulders have been giving me major issues with just being extremely tight and sore. Um, you know, my, my legs were all like knotted up. Um, just like wear and tear, man, my hips hurt, my knee hurt, my shoulders hurt. So I was like, I'm trying to practice posing and I'm having trouble getting to my poses. So during peak week, did everything my coach told me to do. I was eating the amount exact, you know, the 300 and change of carbs that I was eating per day. Um, that Wednesday, I went to see my Cairo. Um, you know, he adjusted me. He did some active release on my lats. Um, I had some uh, factoring done or scraping done uh, to kind of like break everything up because everything was so damn tight. Um, had some stretching stuff done on my legs, my quads, my hamstrings, just because like everything just felt off in a lot of different ways. So that made me feel better Wednesday. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't last very long. Um, so anyway, Friday was the day before the show. I was instructed to get in, oh God, like 500, no, sorry. We started off with like 550 grams of carbs. That was the original estimation. On Friday, I ended up getting in about 600 grams of carbs. Um, which is the most I've ever consumed. And the reason why we loaded it all the night before is because I was the first class on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. So during the course of the day, it was just slowly loading carbs, consisted of things like I had my usual egg whites in the morning, I had my oats and banana, my kind bar that I usually have. Uh, I had cereal during the course of the day. I had Pop-Tarts during the course of the day. I had animal crackers during the course of the day. A lot, a lot of simple carbs for the most part. Um, just because I didn't want to fill myself up with too much fiber and end up getting bloated. Um, so a lot of simplistic carbs. That all went pretty well. Um, even felt hungry a little bit by the end of the night, eating all that food. Um, so that helped to make me feel a little bit energy-wise, felt better. Um, did a quick 10 a.m., uh, you know, did a workout. I did like a quick circuit in the morning at like 10 a.m. Just to get, you know, the muscles moving, get some blood in, uh, cause a little bit of metabolic demand to get some of those carbs to go to the muscles and just sit there for now. Um, then I waited uh, till about almost 7 p.m. or so, made my way up to Pure Focus uh, Gym up in Brick off of Route 88, checked in, got my numbers, um, and then got tanned by Perfect 10 Tanning. And may I, listen, this is the first time that they've used this uh, particular vendor. Perfect 10 Tans did a phenomenal job on the tanning. And I'm not saying that to be nice. I'm saying that to be true. Like I've gotten spray tan multiple times. I've always felt like the process has been quite laborious. Um, and when I was done, I always felt like you always feel a little tacky after these spray tans, but the previous ones, and again, not bashing the other vendors, um, they did a pretty good job, but I always felt like tacky, really tacky almost all through the night. Um, but with perfect 10 spray tans, I felt relatively dry by the time I left the gym with my tan being done. Um, it didn't run, uh, thankfully I didn't sweat. Um, it didn't get like blotchy in any way. It like, it was perfect. The color was perfect. The application was perfect. Um, it all worked out really well. So checked in with my coach that night. He was the one who then instructed me to go to 600. So we did hit that 600. I know I said that already, but anyway, um, went to bed. <laughs> you know, the night before show, I maybe some mixture of the spray tan or, or just nerves, probably more nerves. Um, didn't really sleep well at all. Um, was tossing and turning all night. I think maybe I got three and a half to four hours of sleep total. Uh, got up at like 5.30 a.m. 
uh, checked in with my coach. I was 177 and a half on Friday morning. Took in 600 grams of carbs on Saturday morning. I was 177 and a half. My body literally just sucked it all in. I didn't lose one single pound. Um, and uh, checked in with him. He said everything looked good. He had two like small little meals scheduled carbs. We just decided to do the one. So around like six or seven a.m., I took in about I think 70 grams of carbs, something like that. Um, went to the venue. Got retanned around 7.40, 8 o'clock, um, just like a secondary coat. Um, sat around. I talked with a lot of the pros backstage, which was really cool. I hung out with Marshall Johnson. I hung out with Joe Lacerra. Uh, Joe Thompson, who's a new AMBF pro, was there. Um, Sixto Furman, who's a, a, you know, a pro in a bunch of organizations. And who am I missing? There were six guys in the class, so if I miss a name, I apologize. Um there's one other guy. Who was the other guy? Eh, it'll come to me. But anyway, good class of pros. Um, had our competitor meeting. Got ready to pump up backstage. Um, and we were the first class out for pro bodybuilding. Um, I've already posted the mandatory class, like the mandatory, you know, like our lineup and our mandatory comparisons. So if you want to go see that, if you see this video, you can go back and see it. It's already up and live. Um, we were on stage for what had to be about 17 minutes doing our, you know, our relaxed poses, our mandatory poses and everything in between. Ken barely worked us to death. I must say that I was in severe agony both on stage and after for the rest of the day and for a couple of days after now. Um, <clears throat> just because, you know, um, they just had to work us. It was that it was that tight of a class. Uh, oh, and there was uh, Rico Browning was the last pro. I knew I was forgetting somebody. Um, but they worked us for 17 minutes. Uh, it was not an easy class. It was a well fought out battle. Um, finished that. Then, uh, we got to do our posing routines. So I actually did a little bit of choreography for my posing routine. To be fair, I am not the best, like the most artistic individual when it comes to choreography. I think Joe Lacerra and Marshall Johnson are by far greater at that than I am. Um, but did the best I could. Uh, that I could retain. And then one of the coolest experiences ever uh, that I'll probably ever have as a competitor is I was able to bring my son Danny on stage with me, um, which that video is also live now, um, and have him pose on stage with me. So we went through like a front double bicep, uh, a couple max muscles, a uh, javelin pose, and the Arnold back pose. So those were all fun and dandy. Um, just really, really proud of him because he's a shy kid and he got up on stage and he did it without hesitation. Um, and afterwards he said that he conquered his fear. So I, I was a very proud papa. The audience loved it. It's all over a bunch of different social media sites at this point, which was really, really cool. Um, so did that and then we had awards. So if anybody's wondering how I did, um, it's a good question. Uh, I took home the ax. <laughs> um, I, I must say, uh, let me just put this, I must, I must say this. Um, I have the utmost respect um, for this, all the other five pros that were on stage. They're all incredible in their own right. Um, you know, Marshall Johnson is one of the first natural pros that I can recall seeing, you know, compete on stage when I was getting into this. Um, and I always idolized him. He's just, he's 61 years old now, but just an incredible man, humble, great physique, um, great poser, a uh, great competitor, just a great person and legend in the sport of natural bodybuilding. Um, so let me start with that. And then Joe Lacerra, uh, is a buddy of mine that I've known now for a couple of years through the ANBF and uh, Core Nutritionals. And we, we kind of talk to each other all the time um, and kind of, you know, pep each other up and support each other through all this. And uh, it was an honor to share the stage with him as well and go toe to toe. That guy is a beast. He's scary. He's a phenomenal poser, great ambassador for the sport. Um, myself and Kent have been poking him for a long time to change from classic physique to bodybuilding. Um, and I'm glad he decided to make this switch and kind of surprise me. You, 
you bastard. <laughs> um, but what a competitor those those two guys are, or competitors those two guys are. And it was an honor to share the stage and battle them for 17 minutes. Um, and if you're going to win a pro show, you want to do it when it's a really good class. And that was a really good class. Um, so honored to have competed. Uh, humbled to have won and been and been chosen the the overall winner of the pro class. It was absolutely great. Um, so after the show, um, oh, and let me before I get to after the show, I also want to compliment my two competitors. Joey Schoner took second in uh, pro classic physique, uh, and then my uh, client Ty took second in the. Uh, amateur physique open. He, 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 both of them have gotten so much better. Um, and now they're going to start grinding here to get ready for Mr. America in a week and a half. So looking forward to them, bringing them in tighter and seeing how they can do it this next show. Uh, myself, I'm doing the same thing, getting ready for Mr. America. So excited, um, to do that show. Um, but again, have to go back to the Cairo and get some more work done. My shoulders are a mess. Uh, in fact, on show day, I was really concerned I wasn't going to be able to get my right arm up at all. I was having severe issues with it, but I think the adrenaline took over. Um, so now, week and a half out from Mr. America, uh, checked in again this morning. I did hit a new low of 176 and a half with food coming up, which is amazing. So Brandon has given me more food to kind of level things out. Um, we're going to change some things with our carve up going into the show, which I'll have later. But that's really the update. Um, Thank you, Kent, for a great AMBF show. Thank you to all the pros that showed up and the competitors who attended that show. Honored and blessed to have met a lot of you, shared, you know, battled with some of you. Um, and like, I can't say it enough. Like, there's not enough words to explain what a great day that was uh, for multiple reasons. Um, you know, having my son on stage meant a lot. And I think I cried several times that day <laughs> because of it. Um, just, I don't think they'll, no matter how many, you know, no matter what I do in a show going forward, whether I win or come in 15th, doesn't really matter. Um, being able to share the, the stage with my six-year-old son was the, the greatest thing ever. So uh, next update will be probably around either before <clears throat> Mr. America or slightly after. I hope you guys have been enjoying this journey. I'll talk to you soon.